We went to Essex last weekend and we went to a boot sale. We went to a party as well. People... Party! People call it Dirty, Dun <laughs> Dirty Dunton. People call it Dirty Dunton. Mm -hmm. I don't know if like actual people call it that, but retailer folks call it that. They do. Do they actually? I don't know. Anyway, we went there and we went to another one, which I don't know the name of, so don't at me. Um, and we bought some stuff. Now, we're not massive boot sellers. We love boot sales. But we also love not getting up at half past two on a... Do you know what? For years and years and years we've been boot sailors. But like the, this last, I think between the weather and getting up after doing posh shows on the Saturday night late, which obviously is late for normal people, um, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's taken a back seat this year for sure. So it was nice to get back. We went to boot sale. We picked up some stuff. And it's an array of things, interesting and not so interesting. <laughs> no, I think it's all interesting. But I wanted to do it because some of the stuff we're going to put into a Poshmark show tomorrow... For anyone who doesn't know, we sell things live on Poshmark, live selling at 8 o'clock on Saturday nights um, and Wednesday mornings and whatever, whenever we're there. Um, but every Saturday night for sure. And some of these things are going to go into the sale and I wanted to you to see them before they go into the auction. So you'll be like, whoa, I can get that. Whoa. What were they going to say? Whoa, I can get that. I was crying out a cute little American person voice. Whoa. Right. This is the first thing. Austin will rush through this because he is desperate to leave this room. I'm not desperate to leave this room. This is a Longchamp lip large, but it is the double colour. They do uh, classically, this will be a colour, the canvas bag will be a colour, and this will be brown. The leather cross body leather will be brown. Whereas on this bag, it is the same colour as the canvas body. And they do a series of these in seasonal colours and core colours, and they retail slightly higher than the normal variation. So the brown, like if you see it like black or navy or whatever, the nylon would be and then the leather is brown, that's kind of be like, not generic, but it's a, it's a more well-known one, it's slightly cheaper. Yes. This is current retail, John Lewis, £110. Wowzers. Resale, it would resale around 60 to 80 depend on condition, if it's new, it's if it's a nice been condition used. Though. The corners tend to go on these, just how they're tucked. So they're yeah. tucked and then the corners touch the floor. But this one is This one's actually really nice. Tacked. Like, yeah. This will be going into the sale tomorrow. In the Poshmark? Yeah. And what's our start price? Ten. So it's 110 retail. It's in great condition and you could get it for £10 tomorrow, which would be the, what, the 7th tomorrow? The 7th of October? 7th of October. Things to look out for when you're looking for these is uh, the embossing of the jockey and horse. When they're uh, non-authentic, shall we say, they tend to be a bit uh, clunky, a bit yep. chunky. Uh, but the hardware, you, it has to be like perfect. I know everyone says that, but like if you look at the, the polish here, I can't get close. It enough. actually has quite a lot of weight as it's well. It's perfect. Yeah, it does. For the size of it, 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 it does. The other thing which is quite interesting a lot, like most of the people who kind of fake these bags don't really look into, and it's not a 100% rule, but pretty much you don't find them like this. Like, so this like, label inside, it's plastic, it's, you can, it's quite hard to find. It's kind of on the side. It's not obvious, but it's really hard. It's like a hard plastic. Um, and it has the it has the name model name, it has the um, number and it has the color. So that's inside also. There you have it, folks. Um, so we found that that was great. I had baby clothes in it. We asked if we could buy the bag. We bought the bag. We bought the bag. Second thing, we bought, well, not second thing, but we were going going along. We won't put these in the sales because of sale in the Poshmark sale because I understand children's, you know. It's not a wide market. Well, we However... Actually, we did a whole children's sale once, didn't we? And yeah. we kind of keep our children's stuff to do one sale as opposed to bits and pieces, you know? However, I wanted to show you these because these, in both adults and children's, are really good to pick up. So these are the Vigias. I always say I'm wrong and people always at me. Vigias? I'm going to go with Vigia. I'm going to back you on that. So you're looking for the V? Vigia? I'm looking for the V. <laughs> these are... The... <laughs> Amazonian wild rubber. These are the kids' size. These That's are some wild rubber. Yeah, these are kids' size. They put this V on everything, though. The adults and the women's and the men's especially sell really, really well. These are a UK size one and a half. I'm going to see if they fit my small person, but she's not a great fan of the old Velcro. But you've got the leather upper, you've got the suede um, highlights, and then the Vigia on the back as well. The mad thing is, this actual like marking, it's kind of like, like a rubber kind of mark or something. But the actual shoe itself is like almost hardly worn. You can see yeah. there, there's no real kind of... I wonder if they've gone through the washing machine because like they were worn yeah, like possibly. to an adventure play park but the, Yeah, possibly. It's that kind of, like almost like a burn almost, mm. but it's obviously on the bottom anyway, it's making a difference. But they're, they're kind of, they're, they're vegetarian or vegan, these are. No, they do do a vegan one though. Okay. 
Um, so you got kind of that swide, 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 mate, suede style yeah, front and back. Yeah, this uh, Yeah, there you go then. And the yellow pop on the back. I just think they're really nice. Um, they're in really nice condition. So we picked those up. But these are great to look out for in adult sizes. And that's why one, well, no, they really sell really well, resell really well in children's as well. But the adults and the men's and the women's, I keep saying that, the adults sell really well. And it's, you're looking out for this V here. And they're called Vija. I call them the yummy mummy sneaker because yummy mummies love them. They're exactly that. Um, next up, what else do we find, Austin? So I'm not going to do this one quickly. Okay, This sir. is from uh, The Mountain. They do all kinds of like crazy print t-shirts. I picked this up. This one was, I think it was a few pound. Um, it's actually from this part. These are kind of basically like tourist shirts a lot of the time. You'll find different areas. Um, and this, I believe, is like in, uh, in Navajo or it's part of Navajo. Um, so once again, the, one of the reasons I bought, bought it, obviously, it's all over print. Um, it's got the kind of the uh, American eagle, got the American flag, just cool iconography. Um, it's not vintage. It's it is, it is made in America, made in the USA. Um, and these go for anything between, depending on the subject matter, and go anything, anything from like twenty right through to fifty five pound. Um, so I kind of hit in the middle with that. I just think it's a cool shirt, good size. Well, I think it's double X. Uh, no side large, but it's actually it would fit double X all day long. So that's that one. This one is like a cult classic. I don't know if anyone oh, yeah. remembers these. We only picked up two clothing it. items the whole time. Firstly, because when we started, it was dead dark. I couldn't see black. a thing. <laughs> and then and then I just, you know, by eight, nine o'clock, I'm like... Anyway, so this is um, All Saints. I don't regularly pick up All Saints. It's not um, something that I choose to resell. However, this is a cult classic skirt. This was very popular in the mid-2000s. It's basically just a fully beaded... Uh, like tapestry it's, mini skirt. It's hand embellished. Yeah. So it's been in my hand. And these are really, these are a really big cult classic. They still sell, and you still can achieve eighty to a hundred pound with these. Yeah. I think there is a little bit of bead loss with this one. Okay. Um, on the butt especially. Is it? Yeah. Not that you can see. I'm saying, but like I, that you can see, there's a few like loose threads here. So I don't want to. I basically, I'll say. I can't account for all beads. Yeah. Oh, I think that would be impossible to do anyway. Something yeah, like that, I don't think it used. makes a difference. There's no bowl patches or anything like that. So I'll try and get between 60 and 80. It's a mad weight. And like you said, it it's was kind of a cult classic. Like people have picked this up before. They do an orange one as well. Um, and it's one of the only All Saints pieces apart from leathers. Yeah, that I will pick up, which guarantees kind of good money. Um, and like I say, hand embellished, just really heavy as well. It, like it weighs a lot. That was actually the first thing we picked up. Um, in it, the dark. In the dark, yeah. In the dark. Okay, do that one. If you insist on it. So here we have a Mulberry. Uh, it is a shoulder bag. I I'm have the long you. version of it, but I don't have it on me. It's a shoulder bag. I'm just going to show it on the shoulder there. I have the crossbody version as well of this. Uh, what, we, we bought? No, I in general. In general, yes, you do. Um, yeah, actually, it's right, that's for sale. Um, so this is a smaller canvas bag, as you can see there. Inside has, um, I'm doing a great job, it has a uh, space for a card holder or a card. It's a zip closure. You can adjust it so you can make it slightly longer or shorter, depending on what you want to do. It kind of adjusts there on both sides. It's the tree print in the canvas. Um, we picked this up. Uh, I think the first, I think the second boot sale, the first thing we saw. Mm -hmm. And it was an absolute bargain. Um, I think we paid... I want to say £1. One pound? Yeah. Um, most people put off when they don't see a fob inside a mulberry bag, the little gold fob that has a serial number on it. A lot of bags weren't produced with it in the early 2000s and the 90s. Um, so, the and then some were produced with it without a serial number. So it's not an identifier. It depends on the bag. Um, but this should be an easy 150 to 175. Little shoulder pochette It's thing. lovely. It's also one of the main things on these. The canvas is kind of cleanable. You can wash this, you can clean it. I don't want to put it in the wash, but I'm saying you can kind of clean it up mm. as you wash any canvas normally. The things which usually go on these, actually, funny enough, are the leather and the ink in, which on this is, like, you can see the stitching, it's pristine. Mm. I don't even know if this is being maybe, like, worn properly, because even even the, even the holes with it, you put the, the kind of adjustment. I mean, you can see the details there. You have the logo. I don't know. We'll pick it up just there. Either way, once again, for like a pound or two, I think it was a pound, mm -hmm. um, bargain. Let's talk about, let's talk about sunglasses. Let's talk about sunglasses. Wow. There, they are. They are for Wago. 
I like picking up sunglasses all year round, especially in the winter, because they tend to be underpriced in the winter because people think, oh, the, the summer's over. But people wear sunglasses all year round, whether it's for driving, winter sun, going skiing, they look better on you. Um, uh, well, I was just like, checking that I was in, but for me to try them on as you hand them to me. I didn't know if that was just hand them, hold those for me, or please try them on. So I like anyway. also picking up vintage sunglasses with a certain style aesthetic. These are both 70s yeah. off the top of my like uneducated head, but I picked them up on shape and style alone. They're 50p each. These are vintage boots, which, you know, obviously vintage boots isn't the greatest. However, the style, the colourway and the age, they're also made in France, really goes for them. Both of these sets are made in France. And for anyone who kind of, even 70s, 80s, if you're looking for uh, any, any sunglasses in general, um, to look for anything made in France, it was very, very kind of, it's, it's going to be a, of an expense. And there's going to be a collection, even like Bethany said, from boots. These are boots, but they're French and they are always a good thing to pick up. These ones on my face are Polaroid. Polaroid is a... As in like the photographic kind of company, Polaroid, yeah. I don't think they're related. Yeah, of course, they do optics. Of course they would be. I'm guessing it's the same thing. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe I'm wrong. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure they're the same that, thing. I've never like... I always thought they were separate but the same. But then but then Polaroid camera, they surely would trademark their name. Polaroid. Yeah, so. I'm saying to be in, in that kind of space. These are Either vintage way. Polaroid. Polaroid makes sunglasses, apparently. Um and they are quite pricey. You can find them in most sort of like high street stores. TK Maxx get a lot of a lot of them off price. And they yep. still can carry a sort of hefty price tag. These are shape heavy, as in they are fantastic in terms of shape. Um so I picked them up on shape alone to be honest with you, and then I found out they're a Polaroid. I was like, yeah, yeah. So these ones go for about 40 to 50, depending on where you list them. Etsy is a great place for vintage sunglasses, so is eBay. Um, both these pairs are actually both great condition as well. Considering the age and the yeah. fact that this one is quite is quite a delicate one, whereas this is chunkier, they're both in great condition. I sell quite a lot of yellow, yellow lens aviators from the 70s, non-branded, and they go quite well, 30 to 40. Anyway, these are Polaroid. Um, these actually go for about 100 pounds, 100 to 150, depending on condition and style. And I think these ones have got style going for them. If you see, yeah, you can kind of see that the, 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 I mean, the shape in general. Super They're sick, really right? cool, really cool. Yeah, so if they were 50p each, these, I don't know if I'm going to run tomorrow in the show or not, because I don't Ooh. know if anyone would be interested, if you are interested. These are what Dolce and Cabana, Cabana, I always do it. Uh, the, uh, I, was talking to someone, I was talking to someone else about this on voice notes, and they said they did it, and I was like, oh, Dolce, so Dolce and Cabana. Dolce and Cabana. Um, these are early to mid 2000s with the DG on the side. They're in a tortoise shell. Can you see? They're very nice. Nice color lens. They're like a rose color. Like a brown rose tint. But yeah. these are very like on trend, classic. That's right now. Lady sitting outside a cafe in Paris with Agreed. a cigarette. I do think, I'm going to test it more, but I do think they got a prescription in them. You? Yeah. You? Every time I put them on, I feel a bit like googly eyed. Always try on sunglasses. Uh, yes. Ever so slightly. They got a slight. Yeah, they have. Mm -hmm. Slight. If they do have a prescription, it is okay because people can ch change the lenses. It normally takes them a little bit longer to sell uh, because it will be someone who really loves the frames. At the moment, I'm looking for I'm a certain pair of sunglasses, which I want to pop the lenses out and make into reading glasses. It's actually quite a popular thing, uh, surprisingly so enough. So don't be put off, but please be aware. Try on your sunglasses or look through them. Also pay accordingly. So, for example, a pair like this, I mean, we pay, I don't know, how much did you pay for those? Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. It was, it was, it was under £10. It was under £10, right? So, uh, for example, um, we, they were still worth every penny. But if, if I'm looking for something which is kind of some have, um, what do you call, some have um, prescription lenses and some don't, I would say for sure um, pay less if they have prescription lenses. Because once again, similar, you're going to have more of an issue to sell. Not necessarily an issue, but more, they're just a longer sell. Uh, for a lot of people, they pull off by that. So just remember that when you buy them. More kids, but I couldn't resist. These are Sophia Webster. Sophia Webster is a great brand to look out for if you're looking for the ladies' versions of these shoes. She's famous for the butterfly black backs, and she does them on high heels too. These are the mini version um, of the butterfly flat shoes. Um, these so we actually got box. They have been used, but it's nice to have the box. They're called the 
Chiara Mini in pink glitter, so 26. Um, but you're it's looking so out for though. Sophia Webster. We'll put the logo on the screen. Yep. Um, but those ones retail 175. They're a cult classic. They keep them in their collections in different colorways. Um, and they resell between 50 and 60, depending on condition. We have a box, which is always nice. And they're in a the nice pink color, which is very popular, obviously, with that sort of whimsical fantasy butterfly theme. Does that make sense? Agreed. Um, okay, we picked these up as well. That's, this is just a quick one. These are just Marc Jacobs, a uh, pair of Marc Jacobs flip-flops. I'm always a bit iffy about buying flip-flops. They're, they're with tags. They, 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 to be honest, they're, they're from like a collection maybe 10 years ago. But once again, they, they were literally, I think, a pound or so. I think they'll go well on Depop. And I think, once again, Depop... Yeah, they were small size. They were small size. They free. I can't leave things like that in your tags for the sake of a pound. So, there you go. Um, boots. boots. Pick these up towards the end. These I feel weird doing a haul, by the way, but just let everyone know that just feels. Do you feel straight? We haven't done a haul for ages. Do you feel straight? You don't do haul. Yes, I do. I feel like, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? You do it right. Okay. Um, so this is the boot. They're by Sebago. Sebago make deck shoes, boating shoes, nautical shoes. You just hit me in the head with that. Oh yeah. Shoulder actually. These are a size six women's. Um, I would say no. They're a size four women's. They're an American size six. Um, they've got the canvas upper on the leg and then they've got the leather trim with the embossed logo and then the bottom is yeah. welly. Mm -hmm. So I thought they were quite nice as we go into the winter autumn months because I know a lot of people, especially in the southwest, wear wellies these like will be casual. Exactly that. These will be gelled, these leather pieces. And when, when you gel these leather pieces, that will, the colour will original colour will come back. I would do that right round just a side just a side note. <laughs> Heavy canvas like you said, um and rubber rubber everywhere else. Just totally waterproof. Real nice boot. We paid for, I've listed for 50 or 60, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, but anything in the summer months, the deck shoes from Sebago yes. sell really, really, really well. Okay. What haven't I done? Well, we've got two cool things. One's a fixer-upper for us, and one's a thing for you, maybe. Okay. So should we do those first? No idea. Okay. First things first, got to give people their props. Josh, click right. Um, was at the boot sale with us and he said I've just seen some some glasses you might be interested in go and have a look and he said I think they're fake because they're fake, next to a fake pair which he was correct about in fairness mm -hmm. so we wandered over and we found these they, they are a project okay yeah so these are early 2008-90s Gucci sunglasses like these are one piece okay so when I say one piece I mean this metal frame I'm going to show you would you call it a shield uh, almost a shield effect these kind of glasses there's a G there um, all the details are in there. These actually need a screw here. Okay. They just need to be put in place here and here, okay? But once they have, like basically, they're a, they're a one piece sunglass. They have a, a one piece of here and one piece through the metal. They're just a really nice thing. If you can catch the details there, says Gucci. Um, I mean, they're outstanding. I think these were used editorial, but I've got to check my references. Check, try, and, check, try and put them on loosely. But they were. You're setting your nose, yeah. They're not, they're not like for me, but I understand that people like look really good in these. They're so they're like actually, a thing right now. They've actually got a blue tone. Have they? Yeah. Really ever, cool. ever so slightly the ombre. You see how it's a little bit yes, darker, Mario? Yeah, I can with see. With the G here. Anyway, once we get these screws reinstated, these are a three hundred pound sunglass. Uh, we paid. I don't know what did we pay for those. Five. Five. And that was uh, Josh. We did. We did. We did uh, give him a finder's fee because you know. Let's be honest. This got to be done. Which he refused, and then we stuffed it in his pocket. Physically. Did you physically, but no. I mean, that would be assault of some kind. But he was but very, even very good. But the case boy. <laughs> we get a ten of four in that condition. So you know, it's you like, know. That, that's the way we got to look at it, guys. If uh, the thing is, I will say as well, it's kind of a little kind of life lesson, especially when it comes to authentic and fake uh, stuff in general. We this were next to a, a totally fake pair. Uh, they had a fake. They were Gucci, but they were fake. There was a couple of items on the store which was fake, but these were one hundred percent genuine. So just never be put off by a few items which are fake. You always you know, majority of the time we'll always find something that's authentic because people are interested in that kind of stuff. Last but not least, is something we're going to put into the show tomorrow because we got to go for a good deal and we want you to get a good deal too. Boom. This is a Gucci wallet mid 2000s this is in the classic uh beige tan colorway this gg print here uh was called the supreme uh gg print i noticed they start the canvas they, they, the canvas they stopped they stopped using it though like more in their uh, titles when supreme started to become a thing did you 100%, not notice that yeah. 
Anyway. That's what it was called, basically, the Supreme Print. And because, like you said, I think people were getting confused. Yeah. Not that it was a Supreme collab or anything, but people would put that in the tell and you'd find different items, which were just meh. Silver hardware with the little Gucci here. Um, it is leather, it's completely leather lined. So you've got the money pocket at the front and then on the back it folds out and you've got your card and cash compartment. We've got a little Gucci stamp here. It's in relatively good condition. It's not in mint, mint, mint condition. You've got a little bit of wear to the corners as to be expected from something this age that's been used. So to give everyone a home an idea, this is like what, uh, two, early 2000s to mid 2000s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this, this canvas as well, when we first picked it up as well, it was like, it was almost black. Yeah. This has been cleaned, and to be honest with you, the canvas itself, now as you can see on the screen, almost looks brand new um, in comparison. I mean, it was dark, dark, dark. So um, this is something we are going to put in the show tomorrow. Yeah. How much have we been in a show to start this one? Ten pound. Authentic Gucci wallet with, once again, it has a little bit of wear, but it has so many years left. Yeah, it's it. a great and starter collection piece or yeah. a gift. Or... Listen, you want an authentic Gucci wallet? Check us out, £10. Start right, let's go. Anyway, so we wanted to come on here, show you a few things we've got, tell you what's going to the post show tomorrow, and let you know that Austin is going to make some more videos, okay? I'm not. I'm he not. might. All right. We will. Um, we will. So we've, he... got, we've actually got lots. We've got, we've got quite a few stored. We've got quite a few coming. It's a case of just getting some edited down. We've been quite busy. I can't lie. No excuse. It's factual. <laughs> and if you um, do miss us, we do go live on Poshmark 8 p.m. We also um, go live on Instagram. Instagram at 8 p.m. on Instagram on a Monday. Monday. Um, and then also there is the podcast. If you just want to listen to our beautiful tones, you probably don't. It's fine. Um, yeah, but if you do, go on, you can check it out anywhere you get good podcasts. And some places you get bad podcasts too. Yeah. Um, so this has just been a quickie. And we'll, be, we'll be back. We'll, <laughs> we'll be back with some more helpful content hopefully if in you the did, near future if you did go to the boot sales this weekend let us know in the comments if you picked up anything cool mm -hmm. if you picked up anything relevant or if you picked up something because what we're talking to you now on friday night this should be released tonight um if you did pick up something last week let us know uh, if, if you managed to sell anything from last week because i'll be honest we haven't even listed these yet like i say some are listing and some are for posh mm -hmm. so I would say that's our excuse, but this something going to be listed, so it's just a blatant excuse, and they're not done yet. Uh, but if you have listed anything and saw anything from last week, or you just picked something really cool, put it in the comments, please. Love you, bye. Bye.